and today I will be talking about features extraction uh, but before going into details of features extraction let's discuss about the features uh, let's uh, say, let's say that you are walking in a street and two animals are walking towards you now in the back end your mind or your brain will start some processing your brain will try to recognize those animals based on some features now those features can be uh, the maybe the size of the animals or the shape of the ears or the shape of the eyes or there can be uh, single features or a combination of features using which your brain will be able to recognize the animals now different data types can have different features so if we talk about the images images can have features of a color texture size shape orientation edges or there can be so many other features uh, that are related to uh, to images Im or images data so this is the whole process uh, if you talk about the machine learning process so we get a raw data or a raw data set and then we extract the features and then those features are fed to a classification or a regression model and then a model is trained the same process is repeated uh, like the same uh, feature extraction will be done during the testing and then uh, the model will be able to predict the test images or the test data so this is how a machine learning model works or even deep learning model works like this uh, feature extraction or features are uh, the most uh, the features are the most crucial or I, I would say that uh, the features play a vital role in any machine learning or deep learning model let's uh, discuss this by using some examples let's say that uh, you are junior data scientist and you are given up image in the image you can see you can see that there's a big dog and small cat so maybe as a junior data scientist you will train your model based on a feature that is a size feature so you will train your model based on size feature because using this image you can see that uh, the size of dog is bigger than that of a cat so maybe you will think that if i make a model based on size feature it will work it will work well but when you will try your trained model on this image your model will definitely fail because here you can see that the size of the cat is bigger than that of a puppy or a dog so uh, your model will not work in this case uh, let's go to another case or scenario uh, your task is to identify or categorize the players based on their uniforms now we have and uh, we can see that we have two players one is Indian player and the other is Pakistani player now maybe as a junior data scientist you will uh, you will have a model uh, that will be trained on color feature because the uniform color is entirely different so maybe you will train your model based on the color but your model will fail if you try your model on uh, the on two different teams like Indian team and Afghanistan team the reason is that the color of their uniform is almost same and your model will fail here so we have seen that uh, we have seen that features play a vital role it can make or break your machine learning or deep learning model so this is the most critical decision which you, you need to make uh, or you need to make in uh, in the right way now we have seen the features image features now there are different techniques to extract the features for images if the data is of image type then these are the techniques I won't go into details of the feature extraction techniques because uh, I'm just making a short video but I'm just mentioning I will enlist the names of uh, the feature extraction techniques so you get family uh, so whenever you will see those uh, names anywhere you will know that these are the feature extraction techniques for different data types so for images we have hog MSER, shift surf fast LBP LPQ different uh, edge detection techniques like any etc for textual features uh, in f now text data can have different features those features can be number of words length of a word uh, the frequency of specific words the part of speech in 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 the text the paragraph the sentence or maybe uh, and different entity so there can be so many features in uh, present in the textual data and to extract the uh, these features 
we have different techniques I have just mentioned three of them the first one is the bag of words the second one is the term frequency inverse document frequency or uh, usually we call it TF IDF and the most uh, like uh, the one of the hot topic is word embeddings similarly for speech uh, whenever uh, you are talking to a friend or some family member you can easily recognize their uh, voice because of some features those features can be volume the pitch or there can be so many other features of the uh, of uh, the audio features uh, through which you can recognize uh, you, the voices of uh, of different persons or different people not there there are certain techniques to extract the feature structure uh, the features from an audio uh, those techniques are uh, mfcc lpc lpcc uh, lsf dwt and plp so these are different techniques which we can use for images for uh, textual data and for uh, the audio data uh, now if you talk about the classical machine learning and the difference between classical machine learning and uh, deep learning in classical machine learning uh, we manually extract the features so th all the techniques which i have shown you are usually used for classical machine learning we handcraft the features using the manual techniques and then we feed those features into a uh, into our machine learning model those machine learning models can be sport vector machines knn uh, maybe mlp or uh, there can, there are a lot of other uh, classifiers and regressors uh, which can be used for classification and regression while in the deep learning deep learning is different uh, as in the deep learning if you are using some deep learning model that deep learning model will do the feature extraction and classification or feature extraction plus regression itself so we don't need to do anything manually we just feed the raw data by raw data means images or uh, text or whatever data you have and it will do all the process for you and it will uh, it will train itself uh, after uh, passing it through different layers so this is a major difference between classical machine learning and uh, deep learning for features extraction now uh, there are different questions which can be asked uh, from you in, in the interview so the first question is uh, for testing can we use a feature extraction technique that is different from the one used in the training uh, and the answer is no because we have to use the same feature extraction technique that was used in training for the testing uh, the second question is is feature extraction and feature selection the same thing so the answer is no because in the feature selection we select the features while in feature extraction we we have features and we use some features uh, extraction techniques to extract the features so these are two different terms and they have a different uh, meaning uh, the third question is can we use same features extraction technique for different data types um yes uh, there are different there are some techniques which you can use for different data types let's uh, let's suppose uh, let's say uh, uh, let's talk about bag of words so bag of words is a technique feature extraction uh, features extraction technique that can be used for extracting features from the images and it is a commonly uh, used feature extraction technique for the textual data uh, and the third question is or the yeah fourth question is can we feed deep learning classification or regression models with handcrafted features uh, so yes answer is yes as you as I have mentioned that in deep learning models deep learning model will do all the things for for us but it is there is a possibility that we do the features extraction technique using some manual method and then uh, feed those features uh, to the uh, deep learning model so basically in uh, usually in a deep learning architecture the initial layers are responsible for the feature extraction part and the last layers uh, do the classification or regression so we can replace the initial layers of uh, any deep learning model with our own feature extraction technique and then we can feed those uh, features to the final layers now the f uh, final question is can we use deep learning model for feature extraction and then classical machine learning model for classification regression yeah so it's similar to the fourth question and it is possible uh, that maybe we use the initial layers of a deep learning model to extract the features and then 
uh, we feed those features to some classical machine learning model maybe SVM, KNN, Naive Bayes or whatever. So I hope that you understand the topic. If you have any question you can ask me in the comments uh, or you can also email me. I have mentioned the email in my uh, in the description of the uh, video. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.